Hey boys and girls, Mrs. Thompson here. So we've been learning and talking a little bit about what different animals do during the winter time. I know we've been talking a little bit about the, how we can tell there are animals around us in the winter time by looking in the snow for their tracks. So today we're gonna talk a little bit more about what all sorts of other different types of animals do. So I have a story that we're gonna read called Stranger in the Woods. But before we read this story, boys and girls, I wanna make sure over on the Google Classroom, I put a link to a book called Animals in Winter. If you haven't watched that video, I want you to go and watch that video first because that's going to teach you all about different things that animals do in the winter. They all do so many neat and different things. So watch that first if you haven't watched it and then you can come back and then we'll read this story together. Okay, so if you haven't watched it, just pause this and then go watch animals in the winter and then come back. All right, so we're going to read this story called Strangers in the Woods. This is about some of the different types of animals that are in the winter. Now, when you watched animals in the winter, you learn that animals do all sorts of different types of things to survive the winter. Some animals go away and they find some place where it's much, much warmer, like birds might migrate. That means that they go and find some place that's warm. Other animals might start to store food in the fall, like squirrels. They, they find acorns and they store them to prepare for the winter. Some animals do things like hibernate or sleep for long periods of time so that they can get through the winter. Some animals, they might get a little fatter, their fur might be a little thicker, and that's how they can survive in the winter. All animals, boys and girls, especially the ones that are out during the winter, winter is a hard month for them. It's much harder for them to find food. So what we're going to do is we're going to read a story called Stranger in the Woods. Now, if you look right here at the cover, I see two deer, and then I see right here, what do I see? I see a snowman. Hmm, and it looks like the deer are looking at the snowman. So I wonder who the stranger in the woods might be. Hmm, maybe it's the snowman, but I have something else to tell you. As we read this story, we're going to learn that there's more than one stranger in the woods. And that the stranger in the woods, they have a very important job. They're trying to help take care of those animals. So let's see what happens in our story, Stranger in the Woods. And this is a great story because it has real life pictures of different animals in the winter. So let's read it together. Stranger in the Woods. It's written by Carl S. Sams II and Jean Stoyak. Hmm. Whoa, look at that beautiful picture. The snowflakes were resting after their twisting twirly dance to the crisp night air. Every twig in the forest wore a new coat of glimmering white. Daybreak came, softly moving through the woods and yawning as its rays slowly stretched across the snowy meadows. The birds were the first to notice. <gasps> I wonder what they noticed. Stranger in the woods, stranger in the woods, take care, take care. The blue jays caught a warning from high in the tops of the tall oak trees. Do you hear the jays calling? Mother Doe spoke softly to her fawn. Yes, he whispered. I always listen to the birds, the wind blowing through the trees and the rustling of the leaves, all the sounds of the woods. Hmm, the blue jay was the first to spy the stranger. Stranger in the woods. Who? Who's in the woods? Where? Where did the jay say? Where is he? Asked the owl of many questions. Here's the owl right here. He's wondering, who's the stranger in the woods too? Look at this owl and his beautiful white feathers. Coo, coo, coo. 
could that be him? asked the morning dove. There, beyond the old apple tree. Follow the snow trail past the pond to where the meadow begins. Not far, not far at all. Oh, hmm, some tracks in the snow. That's always a clue that something or someone has been there. I wonder who left all those tracks. <gasps> look at the owl. Wow, look at his beautiful wings. Who, who's in the woods? Why is he here? When, when did the stranger come? Asked the owl of many questions. Oh, look right here, look at that animal. I've been here since early morning before the first pale light on the eastern sky, said the munching muskrat. No stranger came this way. No one passed by my pond. Do you see the little muskrat right there? Oh, what's that? And that's a deer. It's a buck. You can tell it's a buck because of its big antlers. I followed the snow trail under the light of the winter moon, answered the buck. He was not there during the day. That I am sure. My goodness. They are all wondering about this stranger. Oh, this looks like he's peeking over. Oh, and right behind the bush, you can start to see it. Do you see what it is? Yeah, there's that snowman. As the, animal mo as the animals moved through the snowy forest, they came to the edge of a meadow. The frightened doe stomped her hoof and snorted, where is he, where is he, can you see him? Do you see him? I do too. Yes, yes, I do sweet see him, chattered the squirrel. Someone needs to go and ch check him out. I wonder who'll go and check him out. Oh, there's that owl. Who, who, who will go? Who, who, who will go see? Asked the owl of many questions. Look at that right there. Do you know what type of animal that is? It's a porcupine. Now, don't be looking at me. I'm much too busy choo choo chewing on my antler, sputtered the porcupine. Oh, the porcupine doesn't want to go check it out. <gasps> Who's that? Yeah, a rabbit. You'll not be volunteering me. No siree, said the scared rabbit. Is, is he watching me? Look at right there. That's a bird called a chickadee. Howdy dee dee, it's me, the chickadee dee. I will go, I will take the lead. Ooh, the chickabee. chickadee is being brave. What is that right there? Little itty bitty mouse. I'm the smallest and I can scamper quickly. I'll do it. I'll make a tender under the snow where only I can go. I'll creep in closer to take a look quietly, just like a mouse. Let it be me. Let me go, volunteered the fawn. I can do it. I know I can. Hmm. I'm the strongest and the biggest, said the young buck. I should go first. I can fly faster, chirped the cardinal. But I can run like lightning and I have antlers, boasted the buck. But I am, I am red, announced the cardinal, not knowing what else to say. Mm, they all want to go check out the stranger. Look, there they are. They're all getting closer to the stranger. And who is that stranger? It's a snowman. Hmm. See what they think about that snowman. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm already there, dee dee dee, exclaimed the chickadee dee. Look at the chickadee. He flew in and he landed right on the snowman's nose. Gee hmm. gee gee, said the chickadee dee. There are nuts and seeds on his hat for you and me. This stranger is friendly. Come see, come see, there's plenty. Oh my goodness, look carefully. In his hat are some bird seeds. And look, his nose is a carrot and his eyes and his mouth are made of nuts. Oh my goodness, it's all made of things for the animals to eat. Wow. Look at that. The birds are eating some of the bird seed. 
Oh, it looks like the deer's coming and sniffing around. I can see there's something for you, said the buck. Could it be there's something for me? My nose is leading me to corn buried beneath the snow. <gasps> there's corn buried beneath the snow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Look at the deer coming close up to the snowman. Huh. They're looking at that big carrot nose. Oh my goodness. Now look what he's doing. <laughs> he got that carrot nose. I found a treat that I can eat, said the young doe as she reached out to the stranger. Wow, a carrot. Do I have to share it? Oh my goodness. Huh. I'm wondering, boys and girls, how did that snowman get there? Hmm, what do you think? We should keep reading to see if we can find out. Oh, a clue. What's this? questioned the fawn as he passed a curious object in the snow. Look very carefully. Can you tell what that is? It's a mitten. <gasps> Hmm, who wears mittens? Do animals wear mittens? No, who wears mittens? People wear mittens. Hmm, could it be there's more than one stranger in the woods? What do you think? Is there more than one stranger? We know the snowman's there. But hmm... After the corn was gone, the animals left by the snow trail one by one and disappeared into the winter woods. It was the chickadee dee who took the last seed and flew away. The snowman st soon stood alone, but only for a short time. <gasps> Someone else or something else is coming? Maybe it's the other stranger. <gasps> Look. What do you see? It looks like children. It looks like the children are hiding behind some of the bushes and the branches. I wonder why. They have, they've eaten everything, even the carrot nose, whispered the little sister, peeking out from behind the evergreens. Let's put out more seeds and corn before they come back, encouraged the brother. The animals will never know we were here. Oh my goodness. So we have the little girl and the little boy in the woods, and what did they do? They built the snowman and they left all the food for the animals. Wow. Oh, look, there they are right there. Fixing the snowman back up. How long will we feed them, she asked. For a long, long time, he replied. After the snow has gone and the snowman has melted away until the frogs start to sing and the trees grow new leaves. Hmm, does anyone know when all that starts to happen? In springtime, so it sounds like they're going to feed the animals and help them out all winter long. I think they like the carrots the best. <laughs> the end, if you look carefully. What did they use to spell out the words, the end? They used carrots, that's right. And that's the end of our story called Stranger in the Woods. So in this story, how many strangers were there? We knew there was going to be a snowman. But then there was a little girl. So we had the snowman, the little girl, and the little boy. So there were three strangers in the woods. So the little girl and the little boy made this snowman to help take care of the animals that are in the woods looking for food in the winter. This is a great little story, boys and girls, because animals, lots of animals do have a hard time finding food in the winter. So I have a little project that I wanna show you how to do. This might be a project that you can do at home if you have the materials. I'm just gonna show you real quick what you can do to be your own little stranger in the woods for some animals. So for materials, all you're gonna need is a toilet paper roll, an empty one. You're going to need 
some peanut butter. And let's see. A string. And some bird seed. Now, if you don't have any bird seed on your at your house, that's okay. You could use something like Cheerios or other type of cereal. Anything like that would work. But I happen to have some bird seed, so I'm going to use that. Okay. So what you do is you're going to take your toilet paper roll. I'm using a popsicle stick, but with your special grown-up, you could use um, a little knife or something to spread. I'm going to take my peanut butter. I'm going to put it on my little spreader, my popsicle stick. And look, I'm just going to spread it all over the toilet paper roll like that. Now, what do we know about peanut butter? Peanut butter is very sticky, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So we're covering the toilet paper roll with the peanut butter like that. I'm just spreading it, spreading it, spreading it. There. Perfect. Just like that. Now I'm going to take my bird seed. Now you can use Cheerios or whatever you have. That's fine. And I'm just going to roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. Now we know that peanut butter is sticky. So look what happens. All the bird seed sticks to the toilet paper roll. Tick, sticks to the peanut butter like that. Now the only thing left to do is I'm going to take my string. I'm going to put my string, whoops, I'm going to put my string on through it like this. If you don't have any string or yarn, you could actually just take this outside like this, just as it is, and find a branch that it can go on. And then your special grown-up can help you tie a little knot in it. And then it's ready to go outside, and you can find maybe a little tree to hang it on. What's fun for me is when I make these, I like to hang them on trees that I can see from my window because I love to spy out my window so that I can watch the birds coming to get the bird seed. Squirrels will come and eat this. If you have any deer, they'll come and eat this too. So this is one way that you could help take care of some of those animals in the winter that are having a harder time finding some food right now. You could also just take Cheerios and maybe sprinkle them around. Or if you have dried corn, you could take dried corn and sort of sprinkle it around too. That's a nice way to help take care of some of those animals in the winter time who are really having a hard time finding some food. All right, boys and girls, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're able to um, get outside and get some fresh air. And, and if you can make one of those awesome bird feeders or animal feeders. I think that would be fantastic. And you can let me know what you do and how you do it. I would love to hear from all of you. All right, boys and girls, thank you for joining me. I want you to have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And tune in on Tuesday. So remember, Monday's a holiday. Monday, we don't have any school at all. So we'll get back together on Tuesday. All right, boys and girls, bye-bye.